today we will see the intramuscular spaces in the scapular region and the upper part of the humerus. So let's draw a very simple diagram of the muscles that will form the boundary of the intramuscular spaces. So mainly three muscles are involved in the intramuscular spaces. Uppermost muscle is the teres minor muscle. One below muscle we have teres major muscle. And the long head of the triceps will cross these two muscles. Now see we have three spaces in the upper part. This lateral side is known as the quadrangular space because of its shape. Then we have the upper triangular space. And one space is below that is known as the lower triangular space. So this is the quadrangular space, upper triangular, lower triangular space. And in the lateral side we have the surgical neck of the humerus in the upper part. So now see the boundaries of the spaces. So this muscles we already discussed long head of the triceps. Now we will discuss the boundaries of the spaces. So first quadrangular space. This is the quadrangular space here. So lateral side we have the surgical neck of the humerus. Upper side lower border of the teres spinal, lower side upper border of the teres major, medial side we have the lateral border of the long head of the triceps. Now the upper triangular space, so boundaries are the above we have the lower border of the teres minor muscle, below we have the upper border of the teres major, and lateral side we have the medial border of the long head of the triceps. lower triangular space so above we have the lower border of the teres major muscle lateral side we have the radial groove of the humerus medial side again we have the lateral border of the long head of the triceps these are the spaces now we will see the contents in these spaces so quadrangular space we have So this artery you can see this, these are the posterior circumflex humeral vessels or artery. Then we have the one nerve that is known as the axillary nerve. These two will pass through the quadrangular space. In the upper triangular space we have only vessels these are the circumflex scapular artery that will wind around the lateral border of the scapula. In the lower triangular space we have one artery and one nerve. Artery is known as the profunda brachii artery that is a branch of brachial artery. Along with that one nerve will go. This is the radial nerve. So these are the contents.